very large, everybody. It's quite a little fellow, really. It's just a little Nyala. A little Nyala cow with her slightly larger Nyala mum and a Nyala sibling and a Nyala male, possibly father. Mm, unlikely, though. There he is. It's actually interesting. Uh, I think amongst the antelope, I think it's most common that you find the Nyala bull with the rest of the family. And I wonder if there isn't something slightly more nuclear around the social interactions of impala, at least of Nyala, than the, perhaps the other antelope species that we get out here. Now, many of you will hear us say Nyala bull and Nyala cow or you. And it's at this size of antelope that the designation changes. There's absolutely no biological reason for it whatsoever, but this just seems to be about the size. So anything smaller than a nyala, you've got a lamb and a ewe and a ram. Anything bigger than a nyala, you've got a bull, a cow and a calf. Yeah, did you see how fascinating that nyala finds this, Brian? Chewing on that little piece of grass which is quite impressive for a browser. So obviously doing a bit of mixed feeding at the moment. Hmm. And you can hear maybe in the trees the rustling of this wind. And then they are very comfortable here. They'll just stick along the, in the sort of sheltered spots along these little tributaries of the great Hulu Amati drainage. <laughs> 